Hello guys, today I'd like to share all you need to know about integrating card charge payments with Flutterwave standard. In the modern landscape, the card charge is by far the most popular way of making payments for goods or services. To ensure that you can dynamically specify the payment method displayed in checkout modal, you first need to configure it on your dashboard. To do that, simply sign into your Flutterwave dashboard. Next, navigate to the settings page and click on business preferences. Next, select the payment methods tab and click the button to enable preferred payment methods. Now that this has been configured, you are ready to begin generating payment links to accept card payments using Flutterwave standard. To utilize Flutterwave standard, you would need to make a post request to the payment endpoint. I am using Postman to make the API call, but feel free to use any tool that you prefer. Here I have a sample payload and I will simply add a payment options field with the value of card. This is an optional field that accepts a comma separated string list of payment options that you would like to be displayed on the checkout model. We have also passed our secret key as a bearer token to authorize the API call. Now you make the request and you get back a response that includes a link. I'll just copy it. Heading over to my browser, I can paste the link and you will see that a checkout model is generated. Let me just input my card details to complete the payment. As you can see, the payment is processed successfully and we are redirected to the redirect URL specified when generating the payment link. Now, in a real project, you wouldn't be manually copying and pasting links across windows, so I would like to show you what a typical integration might look like. Here, we can see the front end of a simple project. We have a handler function that fires when the form is submitted and a request is made to the backend which processes the request and returns a link. Then, the browser simply redirects to that link and the user can complete the payment. Here is the form structure. Over on the backend, for every request, we simply extract the relevant details and then we validate the field. Next, we make an API call to the payment endpoint to generate the payment link. And I will simply add a payment options field with the value of card. The redirect URL pass needs to be publicly accessible, which is why we are specifying Flutterwave's website URL, because we can't redirect to the local host afterwards. But you will specify the link to your website redirect page when the project is hosted publicly. Don't forget to authorize the API call by passing your secret key as a bearer token. Let's head over to the browser to interact with the form. Alright, so the purpose of this page is to accept donations from your users. Let me just input some details and I hit the button to submit. Since the request is successful on the backend, I get redirected to the checkout model. Now I'll input my card details once again to complete the payment. And once the payment is successful, we are redirected to the redirect URL specified when generating the payment link. I hope that this was helpful and if you would like to learn more about Flutter integrations, you can connect directly with us in our developer community. Thank you.